Hey everyone, it's Professor Hank here, and I'm back with another video on structures. And this time we're going to talk about nested structures. That is a structure within a structure and how to declare it and how to access the different members of the structure, right? So when you have a structure inside of a structure, basically it's nested and a structure becomes a member just like anything else. Like you have an integer member, a float member, whatever, you can have another structure as a member. So we're gonna take a look at that and see how you can create them and use the dot operator to access the individual pieces. All right, so let's do it. So I'll start off by declaring a couple of structures. I'll declare two structures. Structures, okay, so we'll just have a struct foo and I'll give it a tag, right, foo. And then inside of this, I'll just store um, an integer, okay? So int x. And then uh, I'll create another structure and I'll give this one a tag of bar. And inside this structure, I'll have two members. I'll have a y member and then I'll have a foo member, okay? So this foo member, this is a nested structure. Nested structure. It's a structure inside a structure struct inside a struct or our bar structure has a member that is itself a structure no big deal no reason to panic so let's go ahead and create a bar variable okay and then we'll assign it some values so our bar is going to have the y member right and we've seen this before there's nothing there's nothing new about that fine but now we have instead of our bar a foo okay so we'll have to access that by using the dot operator we're going to chain the dot operator right so we're going to say b.f so what this is saying is access the member f that belongs to b okay and now I want to change or I want to assign a value to the X that's a member of foo F, which is a member of our bar B here. So all I'll do is I'll just hit the dot operator again, right? And so then I'll say equals three. So place three inside of X, which is inside of F, which is inside of B. That's how you can read that. Okay, so now we can... I'll we'll put these things on the screen using C out. And no problem at all. Okay, so, I mean, that's really all there is to it. I mean, you can continuously be nesting structures one inside the other, right? So we can do something like this too. I mean, we could create another struct. We'll give it the, the tag of foo bar, right? And then maybe we make a bar member, okay? And so then we'll uh, go ahead and create a foobar variable and we'll call this FB, right? And so then my foobar has inside of it a bar, right? So I'll just do uh, FB dot B, okay? Now there's the, the bar structure has got a couple of members. So I could access its F member, right? And remember what a foo has inside of it, an X, right? So then I could do dot X equals 99, say, right? So assign 99 inside the X member that belongs to F, which is itself a member of B, which is itself a member of FB. See how that game is played? So you're just stringing along or you're just adding on additional dot operators for every um, level that you go, right? So this X is in this F, which is in this B, which is in this foobar, okay? Okay, so that's gonna bring this video to a close. If you're a student of mine, you have questions about any of the topics that were covered in this video, feel free to drop me an email, stop by my office hours, or hit me up 
on Zoom online. For the rest of you, if you thought the video was useful, please consider giving a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked, you got the thumbs down button as well. Consider supporting the channel in various ways. You can subscribe, you can join as a member with additional perks for as little as 99 cents. Leave a comment, whatever. But most of all, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.